to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation unto the elect. And peace and salutation unto all the Akim. Doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. I want to get into this video real quick. It's going to make a short video, you know. Because you got these uh, guys out there with this Trinity doctrine. You know what I mean? And, you know, a lot, a lot of them, you know, will say he is God, you know. They don't understand what they're reading, okay? Best thing to do is just leave it up to those who Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is dealing with, working with, when it comes to scripture, okay? Best thing for them to do is put down the Bible and leave it up to us, okay? Because those scriptures are not for you. Those dark parables and things are not for you, okay? So all this stuff where they're trying to uh, bring in universalism, Yahweh Shai is God, Yahweh Shai and, and, and God and, and the Holy Spirit, this Trinitarian thing, you know? You, know, you, guys, you guys are doing more damage to yourself and doing more damage to people more than you know because you're leading them down the wrong path. You're telling them things that are not right. You're telling them things of, of, of falsehood, okay? You're causing the people to err, all right? As a matter of fact, let me see something real quick. I got to do this one too, friend of who. But anyways, let's, let's get into this real quick. Um, damn, just lost the thought. Stuck here. Uh, damn, I was going to bring up that scripture. I was just remembering in my head and in and out. Damn, stuck here. Slakia, oh man. Anyways, let's go back into this. Um, it was a nice scripture, Yapa scripture too, man. Hold on, it's it's, it's there, but I'm just like <laughs> Slaki is there, but it's like fuck, like right on the tip of your tongue, you know? Damn. Fuck. Anyways, it's all right. It's all good, you know. But anyways, going back into that, they're um, on this belief that Yahweh Shai is Yahweh, okay? They're in that belief of that, like, you got to understand that Yahweh Shai, because in this clip that I'm about to play, they said, where did he, you know, the Muslims are always famous for that. Show us in the Bible where JC, you know, Yahweh Shai said, said that he is the son of God. Okay, well, we're going to show you the scripture where he said he is the son of God. Okay, because like I said, there's Yahweh Shai, there's Yahweh. Okay. Two different individuals. Okay. And Yahweh Shai is, you know, coming in the likeness of his father. He's not going to go off. He's not going to want to go off. He's, he, he doesn't, uh, 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 he doesn't stand for unrighteousness. Okay, he stands for righteousness. He is one hundred percent against unrighteousness. Okay, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is for righteousness, not unrighteousness. So him and his father are like one. Okay, when you see my father, where he made the claim, right? They're coming in the same attitude, same way. Okay. And a lot of people, they try to equate, or like I said, put Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. Oh, that's one thing that the Muslims do too. They always talk about, you guys are equating, um, you know, they don't, they don't understand what, what the hell is going on here. But they will say that we take Yahweh Shai and put him up on such a pedestal that we're, you know, pushing the most high of the way. You know who does that? You fucking Sunni Muslims, okay? Sunni Muslims do that type of shit. They take uh, Muhammad and in their masjid, not mosque, because mosque is mosquito, but in their masjid, they have Allah, and right beside Allah, on the um, left-hand side, 
is who? Muhammad's name. And I always question that whenever I was in the masjid and, and, you know, as a Muslim back in the day or whatever, I always question that. I said, yo, why the fuck are you guys equating Muhammad to Allah? There is nobody supposed to be up on that level. So how the fuck are you taking Muhammad's name and putting it right beside Allah's name? Oh, well, that's because we're, you know, continuing the sentence. No, listen, nigga. It says Allah and then it says Muhammad. And then after, below it, it has, uh, you know, the sentences and the writings. So I always was very upset with that when I, you know, I'm like, hey, you guys are talking about these guys and Jesus and all this stuff. You know, because I wasn't, I wasn't with that uh, whole thing when they're, oh, your Lord is white and this and that. I wasn't for that, right? But when they would always say something, I'm like, yo, look what you guys are doing. You're putting Muhammad up. Right beside Allah's name. What does that equate to? Okay. If anything, you should put Allah's name and then Muhammad's name at the bottom. And then write your whatever you have to write. Okay. So I always had a problem with that. And then, you know, here it is. They're trying the same thing to say that we're saying that he is He is God. No, we never we never said that. Okay. You, you, you people always um, get things mixed up and... You know, say things that other people are not saying. You're being false accusers, liars, you know. That's no good. The most high hated ugly, man. And that's a part of ugly. Okay? So let's go into something here real quick. Let's let's get into where Yahweh Shai, last scripture, where Yahweh Shai said that he is the son of God. Alright? But before that, we'll get some examples of how he's not Yahweh and he's Yahweh Shai. He's the son of the most high, man. If you guys got a problem with that, you know, yeah, hey, ain't nothing we can do about it, okay? All we can do is continue to preach this word. As a matter of fact, hold up. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's play this real quick. Yeah, Yahweh Shai himself said that he is the son of God, okay? This guy is not getting it. Right here. It says, show me in your Bible. And this guy couldn't, this is how you know these Christians are fucked up because they can't read. Okay? It's a simple, simple yeah or nay. Okay? And like I said, this ain't for these people. And no, Yahweh Shai didn't claim to be Yahweh. And yes, he is a God. He is a power. All right? He is a... Uh, uh, Show me in your Bible where he says he is the son of God, right? Just keep that in mind. And call me. Hey, get me on the cell phone. I'll, I'll show you where in the Bible it says that he said that he is the son of God, all right? And then I'll give you the explanation of what you're reading. Because <laughs> these people are like, hey, it's in the wrong hands, man. And he doesn't even understand that before Abraham I was. No, he's not. Uh, no, he's not. Okay, he's Yahweh Shai. He's the son of the Most High. Okay, and yes, he is a power. But anyways, let's go into these uh, scriptures here real quick. Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our father, the power of our fathers, okay, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hung on a tree. Him have God, you know, Yahweh, exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Okay. So Yahweh Shai was raised up from the Father. This is the Father's movie. Okay. We're all actors in it. And we all know the role 
that Yahweh Shai has to play in this movie. He is the son of the Most High. Bottom line. If you don't get it, you don't get it. If you don't understand it, slack it one second. If you don't understand it, you don't understand it. Yeah, so if you don't understand it, you don't understand it. And more than likely, you don't understand it, okay? So Yahweh Shai never said that he is Yahweh. Okay? And once again, when you're reading scriptures like this, Yahweh Shai didn't come back and say, Hey, man, why didn't you tell him I raised myself up and put myself here on the earth? Why didn't you tell him that I was God? You know? Anyways, let's go. Luke chapter 3 and verse uh, Luke chapter 3 and verse 22. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven. So i like to know how Yahweh is here. And he's pitching his voice from heaven. Let's, let's hear this. Which said, Thou art my beloved son. What, he's crazy? Is he fucking nuts? Schizophrenic? So he, he has a chariot up there. Uh... <laughs> voice in this and he's down on the earth as well looking up like that's me look this is total confusion the lord is not the author of confusion <laughs> which said thou are my well uh slaki thou are my beloved son in thee in thee i am well pleased so uh, please tell me what's going on in that situation there Okay. Since he is the most high, right? Please tell me what's going on in that situation there, man. And this is why we always say leave it to the professionals, man. You niggas is, is just that, niggas. You motherfuckers couldn't break down um like yeah, I wish I said. I can't tell you of uh, heavenly things if you don't even believe on, on the earthly things that I've shown you, I told you, okay? How the hell are you going to get to the level to believe in heavenly things and you can't even believe the things that I'm telling you demands you, earthly things, okay? So once again, leave it to the professionals, not niggas. Don't leave it to niggas. Up to two-third niggas are just niggas in general. You see how they talk? They're telling you that Yahweh Shai is the son uh, of Salakia. They're telling you that Yahweh Shai is Yahweh, Okay? Leave it to the professionals. All right. Luke chapter 2 and verse 49. And he said unto them, How is it that he sought me? Was well, he no? Uh, was he not that I must be about my father's business? Well, not my father's business. Father's business. He's, remember, he's saying this to his parents, eh? Father's business. I thought he was the father. Shouldn't he say, don't you know I'm about my business? <laughs> Hold up, I thought he was the father. So what, what, what kind of confusion and madness is going on here? Daniel chapter 3 and verse 26. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the most Hi, God, come forth and and come hither. Then Shadrach, oh, Slaki, that wasn't the one I wanted. It was right above, verse 25. And he said, lo, uh, Slaki, he answered and said, lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. So even back then, they had an understanding about the Most High Son, okay? And the prophecies written about him to come, all right? <laughs> come on now. Even this fucking heathen understood. And what came out of his mouth? Did he say, 
Oh, the fourth man is likened unto the Son of the Most High. He is the Most High. Or did he say the fourth is the Most High walking about? I see a, a, a four figure in there, like manner of the Most High. No, he said like the Son. Okay? The Son of God. All right? So this, this is ridiculous, man. This is why we always tell you guys, leave it up to the professionals. You guys do not know what the fuck you're talking about. Every goddamn thing that you guys are talking about, just shut your mouth, okay? Shut your goddamn mouth, man. And all you other, uh, other idiots out there who want to prescribe to that, you know, that's a false doctrine, man. Be alert, okay? Be alert, man. John chapter 10, and here we go. John chapter 10, and verse 36. Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified. Oh, there's a big problem right there. Who the Father hath sanctified. So he sanctified himself if he's the Father. Uh, and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God. There you go. They're red letter. Okay, this is Yahweh Shai saying. Okay. Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world. Thou blasphemest, because I said I am the Son of God. Okay, question mark. He's asking, you know, ask him a question there, right? So if I do not if I do not the works of my father, believe me not. Well, there you go. He's telling you right there. He's putting a clear separation. In fact, he's telling you that he is the son of the most high. Okay. And he has said that I am the son of the most high. And then he's giving you a clear separation right there. He's saying me, son, father, father. All right. Me, son, son. Ooh, I am son. You understand? He's showing you a clear, and no, I'm not making, I'm not saying that that's how y'all wish I spoke, but I'm just, you know, to you brain, to you uh, Neanderthal brain people, oh, there, my community, you, I just communicated with you, all right, speaking in goddamn Neanderthal language, me, son, son, him, father, father, okay, <laughs> some of these people, you gotta talk to them like that, because they damn near are fucking Neanderthals, man, at the end of the day, we week, they're stupid, okay, their outfit is gross, man. They're outfitted with grossness. So once again, going back into this, he said, son of God, who? Yahweh Shai said, son of God, all right? He didn't say, I am uh, uh, the father. I am God. I sent myself. What kind of confusion is that, man? So, hey, that was just a short one. I didn't want to make that too long, but I just seen that last night. Then I thought it funny. I'm like, these guys still on this? They don't know how to read, man. Are you serious? The scripture is right here where, you know, they always ask, where, show us in the scriptures where Jesus said that I am the son of God. John chapter 10, verse 36, sucker. That, that's, where it's, that's where it's noted at. All right? So I don't, you know, Revelation chapter 1 and 3 tells you that blessed is he that readeth. Right? Key thing, readeth. And those that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things written, they're in a hand, okay? Because the time is at hand, Salakia. So, hey, man, you, you guys are off, man. You guys are seriously off. You don't read. It's not for you. The Father didn't put the Spirit in you to know. So at the end of the year, day and week, leave it to the professionals, man. All right? And with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem. Rakaq Wadash, double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation unto the elect, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom, Shalom Akim, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Habad Baba, Lord willing, to the next time, Matthew chapter 24 and 13. To you all, Wah Habad Baba, Shalom Akim.